I can't with this class. I literally, I can't. This class kills me. This is probably the hardest class that I've ever had. No doubt. I don't know how to even pass this class. I will be talking about all of the subjects I had, which ones to focus on, and how to pass them. Hey, it's Ellie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video for you guys. I will be telling you guys how to survive your first year of nursing school based on my experience and my experience only. But before I start, I really want to answer the top three questions that I got from my tips for incoming nursing students video, which if you haven't seen that, please click the card right here. So a lot of people ask me what strand should you take in senior high school before you take up nursing? I would personally encourage you to take the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics strand or the STEM strand and that's because this strand teaches the basics of applied math and sciences that will surely help you during nursing school. But if you are an incoming freshman and you did not take the STEM strand, I'm sure there are plenty of ways that you can work that out. I do have a lot of friends who did not come from the STEM strand and were able to take up nursing. The next question is, do you have to be super smart in nursing school? My answer to that would be, you can achieve anything through hard work and perseverance. I still remember my first year of nursing. I was so discouraged because in high school, I was a top student, I was in the honor roll, and then when I came to nursing school, I had such a hard time with my academics. But I just pushed myself to be better every day, and here I am, still surviving. So if I can do it, you definitely can too. And for the last question, a lot of people ask me this, do you have to be good at math to take up nursing? So in nursing, you have a lot of calculations and equations to memorize. So for example, you should be able to calculate how long a woman's been pregnant, how much medicine you should give, how many drops should you regulate on an IV, stuff like that. But it's not hard to understand and it's really easy to learn. But what you do need to do is to be able to calculate things quickly and accurately. So those are the answers to the top three questions that you guys have been asking me. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So these are all of my subjects from my first semester and as you can see, there are a few familiar subjects from senior high school. Math, Filipino, PE, Philippine history, subjects that aren't really directly related to nursing. And I know what you guys are thinking. Uy, bakit ganito? Napag-aralan na natin yan ah. Ano ba to? Feeling major. SHS feels. Yeah, but you're just gonna have to get over it and pass those subjects. I know that this may dull your excitement for nursing since you guys have already learned these kinds of subjects, but trust me when I say this. The last thing you need is for one of these subjects holding you back from graduating. So one of the subjects that you might have is understanding the self, which is kind of like a psychology slash philosophy class. We learn about a lot of philosophers and different belief systems, but the teachers really try their best to connect it to nursing. And in this subject, you should expect a lot of memorization. Name, dates, places, theories, etc. The next subject is biochemistry lecture and lab. Biochemistry is all about chemical processes within or related to living organisms. And yes, it's as hard as it sounds. So for lectures, expect a lot of analyzation and understanding the topic more than memorization. The topics that they really drilled into us the most were about macromolecules, carbs, lipids, which are also called fat, protein, and nucleic acids. Also, expect a lot of drawing of biochemical structures. They look like this and there's always stuff like this on exams for you guys to answer about. We also did a lot of mind mapping, which really helped us understand the topics more. As for biochemistry lab, I actually enjoyed it a lot because we did a lot of experimental work by group and it made me feel like a scientist. But even if you're working with other people, you have to make sure that you understand all of the experiments that you're doing because laboratory gives quizzes and exams too. The next subject is theoretical foundation of nursing, which we call TFN. TFN is such a great class, but you are not exactly learning about nursing procedures yet. Our focus was mainly on the history of nursing, its founder, and we learn about a lot of different nurses and their theories of nursing. It's a fun class but expect a lot of memorization as well. Okay and the last subject for my first semester is anatomy and physiology. This right here is a given. This is a big one. This is probably the hardest subject you'll have to learn this year. No, I'm just overreacting. Anatomy and physiology is pretty easy to learn, especially if you have a good professor like I did. The only thing that makes it hard is that you have to learn a lot of different topics at the same time and it all kind of gets jumbled up in your brain. 
For NFB Lab, you'll have a lot of moving exams. Moving exams are where you have a lot of different stations and only a few seconds to answer each station until the bell rings and you have to move on to the next one. You'll also probably have to do a lot of drawing in this class because your professor is more than likely to give you a workbook to bring every class. It gets really stressful, trust me, but if you take the time to study and understand how body parts work alone and with each other, then you'll have no problem. Anatomy and physiology is a subject that you'll have to take with you for the rest of your nursing career. Of course, after your first semester of nursing, you'll have your SEM break, and I really do suggest that you just rest, take a break, but never ever forget what you learned from your first semester. Okay, now here are my subjects from my second semester. As you can see, there are still subjects like PE, Filipino, ethics and communication, but I didn't really mind at this point because the teachers made them really fun to learn. Ethics was a really fun class for me. It kind of reminded me of understanding the self because we did learn a lot about philosophers, their beliefs, and their theories. And our communication class was actually quite a refresher from high school, but I did realize that you can really apply what you learn from this class to nursing. Do you guys know the saying, communication is key? Well, communication is definitely the key in nursing. As nurses and nursing students, it is our job to be able to converse and communicate with our patients for many different reasons. Either to gain information about a patient's health concerns, to observe whether or not a patient is okay at the moment, or to simply establish rapport. Establishing rapport is a statement that you will always hear in nursing school. Establishing rapport is creating a connection with your patient to be able to easily communicate with them, and it can improve their overall patient care. If you have a good connection and relationship with your patient, managing their health concerns will be way smoother and easier. Okay, let's get into the good subjects. The first one is health education and it is exactly what it sounds like. In this class, you're going to be learning about the values of effective teaching and effective learning when it comes to your patients. You'll learn about different teaching methods and developmental stages from a fetus to a teenager to a young adult to an old adult to an elderly up until, well, death. You'll learn how to handle all these different kinds of patients. I'd say it's a pretty easy subject to understand and my teacher made it fun and easy to learn. The next subject is microbiology and parasitology. I can't with this class. I literally, I can't. This class kills me. This is probably the hardest class that I've ever had, no doubt. In this class, you'll be learning about diseases and what causes them, specifically bacteria. I swear this class is a foreign language. I mean, you'll be hearing words like small gram positive cocobacilli, small gram negative cocobacilli, staphylococcus aureus. I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't know how to even pass this class. I also forgot to mention that in this class, you'll have a lecture class and a laboratory. In the lab, you'll be doing a lot of experimental work and you'll have to memorize a lot the names of bacteria, what they look like, because our exams and quizzes are where you look into a microscope, analyze what you see, and then name the bacteria. I'll admit though, seeing what bacteria looks like through a microscope is pretty cool. But the memorization you need for this class is not a joke. I mean, the subject itself is so hard to understand, but don't get me started with the spelling. Spelling out the different names of bacteria is the most difficult thing you will have to encounter this year. Suerte ka na lang kung multiple choice yung mga quizzes mo. I mean, good luck, Charlie, talaga. Okay, so the next subject is health assessment, and this is directly related to your anatomy and physiology. You have to know your anatomy to be able to understand this properly. Health assessment is where you learn how to properly observe a patient from head to toe in order to obtain information about their health concerns. You have to know the different parts of the body and how they normally function in order to assess any health problems. And this is also where your communication skills and establishing rapport comes in. In this class, you will be practicing your interviewing skills because you'll have to be able to talk to your patient and ask them questions regarding their health. Bawal na mahiya dito, kailangan mo makipag-usap. It's a pretty difficult class that requires a little bit more skill than memorization, but there's definitely memorization. And the last class is the class that excites me the most, which is Fundamentals of Nursing Practice. This is the class where you finally get to learn about nursing procedures and you get to perform them. The most exciting topic for me was about parenteral medications, or as you know it, shots. 
Yung shots na may needle ha. Hindi kung ano na iniisip mo. I'm personally not afraid of needles or blood, so it was a pretty exciting topic for me. You'll also learn about vital signs, which is something you have to know for the rest of your nursing career as well. Vital signs are the measurements of the body's basic functions. You've got HR, RR, PR, BP, and temperature. For this class though, you will have to buy a lot of supplies, including your stethoscope. Okay, so here are a few things that I had to buy since first year. And this one is just full of basic supplies like we've got some needles we've got some tourniquets i have a reusable tourniquet here and it's pink i have some syringes and cotton applicators some straight forceps and surgical scissors some cotton balls more syringes i have kidney basins i have a medicine tray here and a bandage wrap and then i have my sphygma manometer to measure my blood pressure i have my pulse oximeter and i actually didn't buy this till the second year but i really do suggest you buy one because it is really helpful when taking vital signs but i think for first year you're going to have to measure your pulse rates manually but I just really like having this. And then this is quite a game changer for me. I bought this ever since first year and it is a case for my stethoscope, which is a Littman. I have a bandage scissors, I have a pen light, I have my thermometer and a few gauze pads here. And yeah, these are all a bunch of things that I had to buy since my first year of nursing school. You should also expect a lot of practicals and return demonstrations. These are where your teacher shows you a certain nursing procedure and then you have to perform it for them. And here is a huge tip. Know your professor's teaching style. Just like people learn differently, people teach differently as well. Some professors are chill and care more about understanding the topics, while other professors want every single little thing in a specific way, and other professors are a mix of both. If you have a professor that likes things specifically and in detail, I suggest you pay very close attention to what they teach and take down lots of notes. But if you have a professor that is more laid back and focuses more on the bigger picture of things, I suggest that you don't stress out on any details that they wouldn't emphasize on. This can apply to recitations, quizzes, exams, and practicals. So that is all I have for you guys today. I really hope you guys got something out of it and that this really guides you through your first year of nursing. If you guys want me to do this kind of video every single year like for second year third year up until graduation please comment down below and if you have any other video suggestions also please comment down below I'm also open to any other questions that you might have feel free to leave it down below and I will answer as many as I can if you like this video and you found it very helpful please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and all of that jazz I'm Ellie don't forget to keep it simple I'll see you in my next video Video. Bye and good luck with your first year.